In Pit Lane is proudly brought to you by DinoTech by Dino Dynamics. For your nearest workshop, visit our website. And with the support of the Ramada Resort, Phillip Island. Brock looked right at home behind the wheel of the Erebus Mercedes SLS, taking pole position and comfortably winning both GT races at Phillip Island. LeBrock joined the Erebus team as a development driver racing in Formula 3, but that's all changed now with the sudden elevation to the big Mercedes. Just came about through a discussion I had with the team and um, they didn't have any drivers for Phillip Island this weekend in the GT program, so yeah, we decided to make a step up and yeah, take the challenge on and um, yeah, it seems to be it's working quite well at the moment. Quite a beast of a car, how different is it to drive from your regular open wheelers? Uh, yeah, it's quite different, I was out and driven something with I see a roof over my head really like this with a lot of power, I've um, so done a few days in a supercar but um, yeah, it's obviously got quite a lot of aero as well so it's probably a little bit similar to a Formula 3 in a way but it's obviously not quite much grip but um, yeah, it's, it's quite a cool beast. So tell us about the Erebus Academy and how did you get involved in that? Um, oh, I, don't know, I suppose it comes down to that thing at the right time, right place and just didn't have anything lined up at the start of the year and um, we just went to the guys at Erebus and said just, just try and make something happen and um, yeah it just, just came about and we were yeah, very lucky to be in the program. So you've been running Formula 3, what are your plans with that for the future? Uh, I don't think we're going to be doing Formula 3 anymore, we're going to stick to the GTs at this stage um, but yeah we're not, we're not sure at the moment, it's all up in the air and we'll just obviously see how this weekend goes. Well, it's going uh, only early days, but it's going pretty well so far. What's it like to drive out there? What are the bits of the track that are most enjoyable in um, GT3 Mercedes? Uh, yeah, it's just going quite well. So we'll see how we go on the race over an hour um, distance. I haven't done any, a race over 20 minutes before, so um, yeah, it'll be quite interesting. But um, yeah, turn one obviously is quite good, and coming onto the straight is quite awesome. It's really fast and well over, well over 200 k's, so yeah, it definitely gets the heart going. <laughs> While Jack has tested in V8 supercars, the weekend was his first taste of GT racing and he was most impressed. Yeah, definitely obviously like a supercar I've driven and just sort of bounces around and does its own thing when you go to a fast corner. But these things really stick to the road and do everything you want them to do. And yeah, it's obviously just trying to build up your confidence and try and try and get the cars to do that. So um, yeah, finally worked that out a little bit yesterday and just um, made a little bit, few more steps today. So yeah, it's working quite well. With his instant success in GT racing, we asked Jack if he felt he was any closer to that much sought after V8 supercar drive. <laughs> oh, I don't know, who knows, obviously it's, it's the, goal, the goal in the, the long run, but um, yeah, we'll see what happens, just keep pressing on and um, try and try and keep it going. Has it been discussed at all, the possibility of a, of a long distance drive? Um, no, nah, not at this stage, no, we haven't had that discussion, obviously it's very early days with the GT program and I haven't had a whole experience in a supercar, so yeah, obviously you try and get as many miles in a supercar and you never know, it might be around the corner. Why should you get your car tuned with a Dynotech Dyno? Your car will be more fuel efficient, an accurate tune means saving money at the pump. Your car is safe, it never has to leave the workshop to be tested. Increased performance, optimise fuel consumption and more power. Reduced emissions. Protect the environment by minimising your carbon footprint. To find your nearest Dynotech workshop, go to www.dino.com.au. Dynotech by Dynodynamics.